Okay, as you know, you have 15 minutes to present. After the presentation, the Commission will ask you questions. You can start. So, uh, good afternoon, Commission and classmates. Today I'm going to present my research, uh, which is called Factors that Interfere in Oral Production During Second Language Acquisition. Uh, the background of the study. Uh, the research took place in San Andreas School in Maipú in an eighth grade of 36 students. Uh, some disruptive problems, factors or elements are occurring in this eighth grade classroom from San Andreas School in Maipú that are preventing students to learn a second language or more import importantly to speak in English. Okay? So um, those factors are the ones that I will that this study uh, will try to find out, the, the factors. Uh, the phenomenon will be analyzed in two uh, different perspectives from, uh, from the outside, an external dimension, and from the inside, an internal dimension. Uh, to exemplify each of, each of them, um, interaction is taken from external dimension and motivation is taken from internal dimension. Uh, the purpose statement of this study is to understand the factors that may affect the development of speaking in the second language in students of 8th grade in a public subsidized school. Uh, the research question and objectives. Uh, how the research question was identified? Uh, well, during my first week in this school uh, I realized that students were able to read, and were able to listen, and to write properly. But they couldn't uh, speak, even to produce any utterance. So the research question is, to, is what are the factors involved in the development of a speaking skill in the second language in students of 8th grade in a public subsidized school? As a general objective, uh, to understand how, this, uh, how the different internal and external factors may be affecting developing speaking in L2. Uh, and the specific objective, to identify the internal factors involved in the development of a speaking skill in second language, to identify the external factors involved in the developing of a speaking skill in second language, and finally, to understand how these factors, internal and external, are involved in the development of a speaking skill in second language from a student's perspective. So, the research hypothesis. I designed two uh, research hypotheses. Uh, the first one is, students will be affected by internal and external factors performing developing speaking in second language. And the second one, students will improve their performance uh, if the internal and external factors are improved. Uh, the selection of data collection materials. Uh, so first of all, the, the paradigm is interpretive. So this paradigm uh, tries to understand the reality. So I decide to... I decide to... Sorry. To... To design instruments for each objective. For the first specific objective, I decide to design field notes and interview to implement. And for the second specific objective, I decided to implement an interview. And for the third, uh, third specific objective, I decided to, um, to, to create a, a focus group. So uh, this is an example of a survey designed for a specific objective number one. As you can see here, this survey uh, has six questions and they have uh, options. And if you think about the paradigm, which is interpretive, these questions are um, limiting the answer of the students. So um, the paradigm wants to leave the uh, space of, uh, to students to answer what they really feel or what they really think about the question. So I re-edited the the material and this is a final version of data collection material for a specific objective one in which I include field notes uh, that will guarantee a better understanding of internal factors and an interview with two open questions. Okay? Uh, assessment of trustworthiness of materials. Uh, the assessment was basically um, 
divided into three uh, kind of assessment. The teacher assessment, that in my case, uh, Mr. Patricio Pino uh, checked my materials. Um, Peer's assessment, um, Mateo Marquez checked my materials. And an external advisor uh, assessment, which in this case was uh, Mr. Diego Avila. <coughs> So the application of data materials. Uh, I decide to, up, to apply uh, interviews, focus group, and field notes. Um, I choose eight students uh, from, the, from the course to participate in the interviews and focus group. Uh, the idea of these eight students is that four uh, of them were the ones who always participate in the class, who always raise their hands, who always um, participate in, in the the discussions um, inside the, cl the, the classroom and the other four students are the ones who never participate, who never pay attention, and, uh, who never stay with hands. So these eight students um, uh, show a general overview of the whole class. Uh, so here it's a quote for, um, of Mackie and Gas to understand why I decided to use field notes um, with interviews and focus group. So the data analysis procedure. After uh, apply after the application of the materials, I transcribe all the information and put into different matrices. The first was the first one was the coding matrix, the second one interpretation matrix, and the third one triangulation matrix. Okay, uh, from the coding matrix emerge three coding families: interaction, the motivation, and self confidence. Okay. And here is an example of the coding matrix. Uh, here is the name of the coding family, the reference, the sources. As you can see here, it's from the interview two, the interview two, focus group, and so on. Uh, the name of the open code and the entry number. The interpretation <coughs> matrix. Uh, from the interpretation matrix emerge two new uh, codes or groups. The external factors that, inter that interfere, oh, sorry, that in interfere, no, interfere the speaking skills in second language, and in internal factors that interfere, in interfere, the speaking skills in second language. Um, so yeah, this is the interpretation matrix, and here's the potential conclusion. <coughs> and finally, the triangulation matrix in. Uh, the idea of triangular information is to cross-check information from different uh, sources into, uh, same, into the same category. So uh, here you can see in the rows, the field notes, the focus group, and uh, the interview, and in the columns, the different categories. So these, um, these, in these instruments are refle reflecting or are showing uh, the same category. I can see interaction in field notes and focus group and in interview. Uh, conclusions and limitations. So, uh, students from San Andreas <coughs> School in Maipú in eighth grade have been affected by three principal aspects that interfere development of a speaking skill in second language. Uh, this aspect can be divided into two factors. Internal, which comprises the motivation that makes students to feel uh, disinterest in the English class, and self-confidence that makes students to feel ashamed or afraid of making mistakes during the class, and external uh, factors that comprises interaction student-teacher that in this case is low quality. So uh, students uh, have a lack of interest in the English class. Uh, limitations. Uh, well, at the beginning of the research, I, many other categories were identified based on my observation records. Uh, <coughs> regarding to internal factors, uh, motivation, the motivation, the fluency errors during performing several language, and regarding to external factors, interaction and teaching English in English. Those were the, the, the categories that I identified uh, at the beginning. The challenges were um, always working with the emotions and feelings is a challenge with this uh, psychological aspect because it's very difficult to understand what's happening inside a person's mind. Um, in regarding to studies in the areas, 
could be interest to to see um, uh, more factors that what more what factors can be identified in in the same area uh, depending on different contexts. Top context. So uh, well, in this part, I was assigned uh, with a learning objective, and I had to design a metacognitive analysis. Okay, the learning objective was for the third grade, um, learning objective number six, and it says leer y demostrar comprensión de textos como cuentos, rimas, chants, tarjetas de saludo, instrucciones y textos informativos, identificando ideas generales del texto, personajes y acciones, vocabulario aprendido, palabras conocidas y expresiones de uso muy frecuente. I want here. It's from middle to 2017. Uh, well, um, the contents and activity proposals. The, the contents that I that I decide to use were uh, reading comprehension, um, identifying general ideas of a text, uh, identifying the characters or possible events in the stories, and vocabulary from the unit and also from the text that students have to read. And here is it's an activity proposal that it says students will sing the song Vampire Wedding uh, by Pink Fong following, the, following a sheet with the lyrics and then students will work in groups and they will order the events mentioned in the song. Finally, students will draw the end of the song. So, <coughs> to call British Council, songs tend to repetitive and have a strong rhythm. They are easily learned by primary children and quickly become favorites because of their familiarity. Um, as a personal strength, um, identify patience and give posi positive reinforcement uh, because you're working with children and I think you need patience. Um, the positive reinforcement, um, to quote Adams, uh, the most effect is the most effective method of managing children's behavior is through the application of positive reinforcement. And also the use of uh, an appropriate teaching techniques, which is also crucial when you are working with children. In this case, the use of, uh, of the technique of group work, um, because working in groups uh, reduces the anxiety of students who are unwilling to speak in front of the class. And this is from UR 2009. Um, weaknesses. Well, uh, one of my biggest weaknesses is uh, the use of mother tongue. So, the, the first language interference that it may cause in students. So, to quote uh, Art Batze, 2016, interference may be viewed as the transference of elements of one language to another at various levels, including phonological, grammatical, lexical, and orthographical. Okay, and challenges. Um, I think that one challenge could be keep students' interest in reading in English throughout motivation. Okay, this is the way I choose to keep students' interest in reading throughout motivation. Um, to quote Brown, 2006, it states that motivation is the force that pushes us to do <coughs> something. And this is a reference. Thank you. Now we'll ask the guests to leave the room. Thank you.